A UCP MLA has set off an online firestorm after taking to Facebook claiming the province isn't getting its money's worth from Alberta Health Services, directly referencing the pay of its president and CEO. Dr. Verna Yu, the head of AHS, is known for delivering sober truths to Albertans during this pandemic. We have never ever had that number of total patients in ICU before, never with the prior waves and never in the history of this province. And each day we see a new high. However, on Saturday, Shane Getson, the UCP representative for Laxane and Parkland, took to Facebook apparently in response to a recent discovery of the salary of Miss Yu contained in a CBC article. His post reading, quote, For this kind of money and the amount we pour into the system, I think we need to be getting more bang for our buck when it comes to resource planning. He went on to claim, quote, ICU bed levels that were available for the public dropped unacceptably low coming into the cold and flu season and a prediction of the fourth wave, hence the crunch and strain on the system. The wave hit, but AHS didn't staff the beds adequately to meet their own predictions? Heading into this weekend, where new COVID numbers are not reported, Alberta had 243 COVID patients in the ICU. It's tragic that we are only able to keep pace with these sort of numbers because, in part, some of our ICU patients have passed away. AHS responding to the MLA's comments with this, quote, adding ICU capacity is not simple. ICU patients require highly skilled, specialized physicians and nurses, and the level of care is extremely complex. Our frontline physicians, nurses and staff are understandably exhausted after 19 months of pandemic response. There is a limit to how much they can do. Because of this, there is a limit to how many additional spaces we can open to provide patient care. We did reach out to Mr. Getson's office to give him a chance to explain how he expected Alberta Health Services to staff upwards of hundreds more ICU beds for a fourth wave. A fourth wave the UCP themselves said they didn't anticipate. We did not hear back. Now in his Facebook post, the MLA did say he will have more to say on this issue in the coming days. In Edmonton, Jonas Gilbart, City News.